So first thing I noticed up here is, no wonder it's going to be confusing sometimes for our uh, students. When I write 15 equals negative 2 like this, and then I write times a 2 that looks like this. Sorry, I don't mean to confuse you. Those are just two different ways to write a 2. And for some reason, I decided to write two different versions of a 2. My apologies. But those are both 2. So 15 equals negative 2 times 2t two minus 1. So what we need to do is we need to find the value of t, meaning I need to isolate the variable. So there's a couple ways we need to look at this. What, remember, we need to undo the operations that are happening to our variable. Well, one way that I like to undo the operations is I would like to complete the distributive property. Now, you can actually get away with this by not um, doing the distributive property first and then undoing this multiplication because if I can undo the multiplication on both sides, I can get rid of the distributive property. However, I'm not gonna, I don't really want to do that right now because 15 divided by negative 2 is not going to provide me a whole number. And therefore, my math could be a little tricky. So I'm going to continue with this. I am going to distribute this negative 2 by using the distributive property. And then I'm just going to solve it using the operations that we've been talking about. So negative 2 times 2t is a negative 4t. And then remember, distributive property, you have to distribute to both terms inside your parentheses. So therefore, then negative 2 times 1 is a positive 1. See, now I have a uh, two-step equation, which is perfect, exactly what I was looking for. And that's really easy because I'm very used to doing two-step equations. First thing I do is I subtract the 1. So I have 14 equals a negative 4t. Now, after having 14 equals a negative 4t, the next thing I'm going to do is divide by a negative 4 on both sides. And therefore, as me as a math teacher, I just like to, I prefer to keep it this way. We can write it as a decimal. And, um, but I prefer just to keep my answer as 14 divided by negative 4 equals t, which then we want to rearrange. So I say the value of t is equal to 14 over negative 4. However, we can reduce this fraction. You notice this fraction can be, re, um, can, uh, be divided by 2. So this fraction can be reduced to 7 over or negative 7 halves, all right? which also could be rewritten as equal to 3.5 as well. I just prefer to write it in the fractional form. So there you go. There's your answer. Thanks.